Hi, I'm Carrie Reihard. I'm a craftivist. That's someone who combines craft with activism. As an artist, I predominantly work with ceramics and mosaics, and I've kind of specialised in printing on clay. So I kind of see my work almost as a ceramic collage. I think the punk music and um, definitely had an influence on my work, more so on, I mean, it definitely had an influence on the aesthetics of my work, but more so I think with um, that feeling that you could do whatever you want and not to, not to care what anyone thought. So I think that, you know, the, the ethos of punk really did inform me as a person, you know, throughout my life I've really haven't, I don't care what people think, you know, I've deliberately uh, chosen to be exactly how I want and to be as authentic as I can be as a person. I think what's important to know about me is that, you know, I myself have suffered from uh, a lot of mental illness and, uh, I mean, in fact, in 98 I was diagnosed with an extreme personality disorder, but I like to think that, you know, m mental illness is a sane response to an insane world, you know, it, we'd live in a nuts world and so m my own life I've used art as a form of therapy, very much so, it's always brought me back from the brink, it's always saved me. And so uh, working within the collective that I work in, the Treatment Rooms Collective, our interest is in using art as a vehicle to help others because I do believe that, you know, creativity is the way that we keep our humanity and it's the way we keep our sanity in this world. So at the moment I'm working on a huge, um, a, a large-scale ceramic intervention that will go into South Acton Estate, which is a, a huge mosaic of a, the tree of life, the oak tree, because Acton actually means Oakland. So I'm working on that at the moment, again with the Treatment Rooms Collective, and that's also going to include like a historical timeline, pictorial historical timeline of South Acton, but that's not due to be installed till April. Hepatitis C is something that I'm acutely aware of. I mean, anyone who's had my history with amphetamine use would have a slight worry that they would have hepatitis C. And so I consider myself extremely lucky to not have it. But I have a lot of friends who've suffered from it and a lot of friends who've been totally cured by hepatitis C. And I think it's something that's really important that we, we help support. And I just, I've always thought that Selling art is a fantastic way of raising money because if you're buying art, why not buy art that's going to actually do some good, you know, as well as have a beautiful piece of art, you're actually going to give your money to a great cause.